What is up YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers and tech. And for this episode, I'm excited to bring you a list of neck-breaking sneakers. What are neck-breaker sneakers that are loud, vibrant, fun, and will just turn heads when you wear them. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. Why? Because we're giving away an Adidas Pure Boost in your size now that we've hit 40,000 subscribers. There's a link down below where you can find out how what are the mechanics and how you can actually join. But to qualify, you need to be subscribed. So subscribe now and follow me on Instagram. Let's kick off with my favorite neck-breaking sneaker. This is neck-breaking because it's number one, the colors are just crazy and vibrant. Number two, it is one of the most hyped sneakers of 2017 and 2018. Of course, guys, I am talking about the Sean Waterspoon 971 Air Maxes. I mean, take a look at this insane pair. You have the corduroy upper. You have the multiple layers in green, in violet, in blue, and salmon, and gray, and yellow. And you have that Velcro thing here with the waves. I mean, it is just one heck of a crazy sneaker. One of the most sought after sneakers for 2017 and 2018. And a lot of people are actually calling this one of the strongest contenders for sneaker of the year for 2018. So that's my first pair. Uh, the Sean Waterspoon 97 ones. Let's keep the love going for the Air Maxes. This is, guys, woo -hoo -hoo! look at those colors. I mean, what the heck? Crazy. I think it's called like the Air Max Cone. I, I can't remember the exact name. I think it was the cone, but man, this is just insane. You have that all, well, a mix of suede, and then you have mesh. And yeah, it's just crazy. I mean, look at all of those vibrant, crazy colors. You have violet, you have yellow, you have bright orange, you have some sort of mint teal color, and even the Air Max logo at the tongue is a mix of multiple colors. This is a certified neck breaker sneaker that will really turn heads. Now, will it turn heads for the right reasons? I really don't know, but you will definitely grab attention if you pick, pick, if you pick a pair up of these Air Maxes. I was able to actually get this over at Soul Academy at BGC. Shout out to the guys over there at Soul Academy. You guys rock. I am not yet done with the Air Maxes. We have to talk about the Air Max Deluxe. I have two pairs of the Air Max Deluxe. This is the newest colorway that released here in the Philippines. Pick this one up from Commonwealth over at Greenbelt. And as you guys can see, this rave-inspired sneaker, it's rave because of all of the crazy wavy lights that you see here. That's the guy who designed this was probably tripping when he was when he was working on this one. This is just again another insane pair of sneakers. Now I have two colorways. This one is the second one. The other one is in a more Actually, it's a, it's a more sleeker color with blues and whites and a little bit of orange. That was in that one is kind of covered in all of the boxes. So I won't pull it out, but I do have some shots of it on video, which will flash right now. So again, these are Air Max Deluxes are now available in the Philippines. They're being sold for a little over, I think, a little less than nine thousand pesos. So they're definitely pricey, but man, they are definitely crazy head turners. I am nowhere near done. We have the Air, Air Force 270 Safari. This one was on my very first Air Force 270s. And this one, again, just like all the other sneakers that I mentioned, that, that I showed you guys, is just wow, as in wow. You have the Safari print here on the side. Bo again, on both the lateral and the medial side, you have a bright orange here in the middle of the foot. You have that orange tag here also with the strap. And of course, who can ignore and miss those giant, Air 270 bubbles at the back of the sneaker. This one squeaks like crazy, but man, they're just massive orange air units that will just turn heads and grab attention. Next up, I just want to show you guys the loudest Ultra Boost from Adidas that I have. This is the Adidas Prototype Ultra Boost Mid. And as you guys see, it has a bright neon green, almost yellowish upper. What? I mean, look at that. It, it's, it's, wah. Apart from being loud and crazy, it also gets dirty quickly. So that's actually one of the big cons that I have with this sneaker that I don't like. But this pair actually has a lot of character. It's a, it has that deconstructed vibe uh, because it is called the prototype. So you have a lot of the exposed stitching. 
you have even here that a tag that says leather and it, it's not like a really polished look for an ultra boost it even comes in different colors in both pairs if you take a look at the forefoot this one is in blue this one is in gray and even the lacelets that you guys see here this one is blue this one is in gray and even the stripes this again blue and white so this is just a really crazy pair that's again just like all the other sneakers that i've showed in the past are meant to turn heads apart from it being dirty quickly one of the biggest cons of this one was this, when it came out it was really expensive i think if i'm not mistaken it was being sold for a little over twelve thousand pesos making one of the more expensive ultra boosts that you guys can cop you cannot talk about neck breakers without talking about yeezys and of course when it comes to the loudest yeezys of all that comes to my mind there are two you have the frozen yellow yeezy 350 boost and you have the 350 zebras because they're just meant to really grab attention it's not every day that you see people wearing zebra print sneakers i don't have the frozen yellow ones but i do have this one one of my favorite easies to date because initially when i thought that i picked it up that they would be so hard to wear but it turns out all you have to do is drain you know dress plain at the top like wear plain pants plain shirt and this one is really easier to rock than you think that it isn't so yeah this one i love it uh, pick this one up from the sponsor of a lot of our giveaway, Shoe Freak PH. Link down below. You guys have to check him out. We're not yet done. We have the Pharrell Williams, of course. This is the Solar U NMDs with the Jejemon language. <laughs> to those who are not aware what Jejemon is, it's a term that we call here in the Philippines that basically talks about writing in this way, wherein you replace letters with numbers. So it's not actually applauded and well regarded here in the philippines so yeah pharrell uh, and the guys who made this this would have been so much better uh, well at least here in the philippines if it was actually written properly if you used e's if you used i's and s's and you know use the proper letters to be able to spell out inspire and empower but yeah this is one of the most recent neck breakers that came out uh, of adidas of course you have the bright colorways you have the tribal print along the side and of course who can miss the giant words that are just written uh, down the middle of the sneakers again this is the pharrell williams adidas solar u nmd pack we gotta give love to converse and when it comes to converse i have one crazy looking pair this of course is the converse uh i think it was like golf le fleur le fleur dual tone uh, sneaker uh, this one was sold in commonwealth i think for a little over seven thousand pesos when it first came here in the philippines it didn't sell out and it sat on shelves for weeks even up to a point where even Converse in Greenbelt started selling it. Because why it's at? Because this one sold for 7,000 pesos. That's just a really high, high price point for a pair of Converse kicks. But yeah, you have the molten red and blue colorway here, which is just loud and screaming and asking for attention. And again, guys, it's not every day that you see flowers on your sneakers. Next up, we have to give some love to Puma or Puma or whatever it is that you, <laughs> that you call it. This one is the Puma Thunder Electric. And as you guys can see, what makes it loud are the loud accents of orange especially the metallic orange bands that you see along the side of the tongue now this sneaker is not available in the philippines in fact i feel that puma here in the philippines has such a weak game i mean why puma come on guys the philippines is ready for your best sneakers where are the thunder spectras where are the thunder uh, I, I forgot what it's called but yeah where are all the crazy dad shoes where are the rs0 where are the sega i think it was sonic the hedgehog where are all of those crazy sneakers that you guys have bring them to the philippines the market is ready if you guys know anybody from puma philippines send the link of this video to them and tell them that yeah they should bring the heat i think we have to talk at least or at least show one jordan and this is the jordan that's at the back i guess any sneaker that's in bright yellow is bound to turn heads and this one i think it's like the new love or retro love i forgot exactly what it's called but yeah this one every time i wear it just it's a magnet for attention it's a magnet for compliments it's a magnet for people asking hey nice pair of kicks or nice sneakers or nice shoes because yeah it's not every day that you guys see yellow sneakers especially yellow jordans hitting the pavements or at least hitting the offices there are a lot more of colorful jordans that came out there's the joker one and a bunch of other colorways that you might want to consider if you're looking for loud sneakers but of all of them this one for me is the sleekest and the nicest looking I, and, and this probably the yeah if i check the room 
Uh, yeah, this is the only bright yellow sneaker that I have. Uh, well, pure yellow or yellow and black. Maybe apart from the Sean Wotherspoon. But yeah, I, I love this pair. I've been wearing it a lot. Jordan 1. And lastly, I just want to show you guys a sneaker, a neck breaker sneaker that I hate. So <laughs> this is the Adidas Bape Dame 4. So Bape, of course, is a streetwear la label based out of Japan. And this is a head turner because you don't see sneakers with gaping shark teeth and sharp mouths open every day with the giant monster eye at the end so yeah this one uh, came out it was such a wild and crazy sneaker a lot of people lined up for this so it's a hype pair of kicks and this one uh, the resale value said it's kind of crazy i think it's like 20 22 23,000. but i really don't like it mainly because the fit the size that i got wasn't the one that was for my feet this is a killer for people with wide feet because the upper is just so constricting and so tight so if you have wide feet i strongly recommend that you guys pass on anything dame for because they are not made for your feet your feet will hurt as in they will really cry out in pain if you end up picking up a pair like this now looking around the room i kind of see a lot more of sneakers that can potentially be neck breakers but <laughs> but to preserve the length of this video so that we don't go to like 20 minutes it's to one R. I'll cut it at that. Oh, since you guys stayed until the end of the video, I have a surprise. I really hate the Pure Boost DPR. <laughs> I, I know I told you that I'd, I'd make a review. I just tried them on once and they are hella tight. I think I should have gone on half a size on this one. So I actually just wore this once for the on feet video. Uh, this is the Pure Boost DPR that actually just featured the the video before this one or i'll end up featuring in a video after this video uh so yeah i want to give it away so leave a comment down below on your favorite a pair of neck breaker sneakers and i'll draw the winner next sunday as well so we care i kind of have two giveaways we have the pure boost uh, we have the pure boost giveaway which because we celebrate our 40,000 mark and we're giving away an almost brand new pure boost dpr in size 12 as well leave a comment down below of your favorite pure boost uh, for your favorite pure boost of your favorite neck breaker sneaker and yeah i'll draw the winner of this pure boost dpr come sunday as well and that's it for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it, please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel make sure that you follow me on IG if you're not subscribed you will not qualify for any of the giveaways subscribe now follow me on IG it's on it's on to 100k let's get to 100 grand and I will be so happy and so thankful if we can get there that's it for now peace 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 God bless